All right, good morning, good morning. Yay, another yoga practice. I'm so excited. Always love waking up and coming to my mat and practicing with you all. So thank you for showing up with me. Let's go ahead and begin by lifting onto our toes and back onto our heels. Wiggle your piggies. Just a couple more times, wake up your feet. I like to wake up those feet because they are a foundation through our practice. One more time. And then align your ankles, knees, and hips. Have a slight tilt to your pelvis with the neutral spine. Engaging that first bond at the root lock, at that pelvic floor. Engaging through the sphincters. Lifting the navel back towards the spine and up towards the sternum. Drawing shoulders down, drawing chin in, reaching crown up. Taking a big inhale through our nose, a big exhale through our mouth. And just meet yourself this morning on your mat. We stand tall, just really pressing into the earth, connecting to the earth. Just feeling our energy through our body as it connects down into the earth's shield and it moves all the way up through our body. We have seven main channels through the body, but we have about 15 that energetically connect into the earth and out into the atmosphere. Just feel that connection. That's why we can feel in the weather. We can really kind of have that intuitive knowing because we have that energetic connection. Just be mindful right here, pressing in. So we activate our energy centers, building that energy within our body because we want to be strong, feel radiant. Building that longevity and health and wellness. And ultimately in our happiness, awakening that joy as we live in a state of bliss. Just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Bring your chin to your chest. And move left ear to left shoulder. And then slowly roll downward and around to side to side, pulling chin down and around to each side. One more time. And then lift your head nice and tall. You're going to take about two or three fingers to the back of the nap of your neck. Just that little curvature in your neck. And just kind of press in. It feels so good. Just right there at that central cortex. Just rubbing. Just feel any releasing. Being mindful of anything that's flowing through the mind. As we breathe in and breathe out. your last one just rub in there and just bring your hands to prayer at heart center feeling our energy just being boundless in the body as it flows in us through us and all around us now as we stand we're going to be mindful calling out the colors of our of our energy centers through our body they're known as chakras so one is at the pelvic floor it's our root chakra and it's noted with the color red so we're just going to be balancing through the colors it's kind of like the colors of the rainbow. They connect inwardly to our body. Take a big inhale as you visualize that color red, your tailbone. And then right at your navel, just below, maybe about two or three fingers below your belly button. You're going to visualize the color orange. As the energy starts to swirl and you want it and you, it feels more light and joyful in that space, it kind of comes in with like those sherbet kind of colors. They're very luminescent. Those colors vibrate very at a high um, frequency, so they're very bright and vibrant. And then at our solar plex, just right below our chest, is yellow. You might see like is a golden yellow or is it gets a little brighter and lighter. It feels cheery and danceful. And then at our heart center is green, a space of love. Just feel it. You may feel that green surrounded with little flecks of pink. And then our throat is blue. You can see it deep like the color blue of the ocean. Or it's the vibrant light blue of the sky. And 
And then in between our brows at our third eye, we see the color indigo. Behind that, the optical nerve is a white light. And then at our crown is violet. It's that violet deep richness. Those hues can transfer out, growing as it comes out to the top of our head into a magenta. And seeing as we press the energy down into the earth into a white light just for surrounding us, filling us, feeling safe in the space, feeling balanced in the space, feeling radiant energy flowing through us. And we're gonna take this energy, the vibrant colors of the rainbow to charge throughout our practice as we are boundless and free. Let's go ahead and begin lifting arms all the way up, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Lifting that tailbone, lengthen through the back of your legs, draw the navel in and exhale, fold. Shake your head, lift your heels. Our energy centers are impacted by our emotional and our mental and our physical well-being. We can have blockages in those areas from ever since birth. Heel toe those feet apart. So our practice allows us to energetically move and release any of those blockages. In order to for have radiant health in our body, we need to do that work. So just kind of bend in your knees, move in the body, again, moving that energy, being mindful as we link breath with the movement. And then hold it. Bring opposite hand, opposite elbow, and then sway side to side. And just swirling in that energy. And then center, hold it. Hands come together, heel toe those feet back together. Lift up halfway and exhale, deepen. Step back, kneeling, and come to cat and cow. Shoulders and wrists are gonna line up, knees and hips will line up. Roll the pelvis under, chin to chest, round the spine, press it, and come back to neutral. And then again, round it, tuck it, squeeze it, and come back to neutral. And just flow several times in your cat and cow. Breathing arching the back, flowing one breath, one movement. And last one. And we're gonna rotate those fingers inward, turn those fingers in. Press in, press all the way down to your chest, elbows come out and press back. Press down, press back. Press down, you're still in that kneeling position, elbows out, fingers line with your chest, comes out in alignment with your fingers. Fingers rotate in, elbows press out, warming up the arms. Press in, press out, press those elbows out. Linking breath with movement, one breath, one movement, and four more, three more, two more, and your last one, press it back, hold it. And then kickstands your left leg out, I mean your right leg out, left leg extends. Reach the left arm up, kneeling side plank on the right side. And then lift up side gate. And you're gonna take that right arm, reach up, that left arm's gonna pull through. And just press in, this little presses in as you reach the left arm through the left, through the right side of your body. Reach that right arm up and over towards your left leg. And just little pulses as you reach up and over, find a little more length each time, pulsing. But at the same time, you're crunching to that side, pressing in, pushing that energy through the side body for four, for three, for two. And your last one, press in, hold it. Lengthen a little deeper. Then bring yourself back kneeling, whoop, side plank, and then flex in your heel. Kick that leg to the front and then kick it to the back. Kick it to the front. Kick it to the back, to the front, to the back. Breathing in and breathing out. There are certain movements, certain situations in life can either deplete our energy or charge our energy. Idea here today on our mat 
so we feel charged in what we're doing feeling renewed in our practice as we dive deeper into ourselves through our practice we heal we awaken we are empowered four more three more two more and your last one bring that leg back knee up take that hand back to your ankle lift that knee aligned with your hip grab at that ankle only as an option you can imagine you're reaching back to the ankle you don't have to touch it using visualization is just as powerful again keeping that knee and hip stacked that right knee and hip are stacked the left knee is up aligned with your hip that left hand hand is around your left ankle and then release it come back up side gate and reach back up and over and little presses one more time reach that arm out in front of you so it's a left arm to in front of you reach up lengthen press in deepen four more three more two more last one lengthen hold it and then come right back side plank and this time you can stay on your knee if you want to kick stand that bottom leg out you can come fully extended side plank lift your hip a little higher if you're fully extended or kneeling just lift breathe hold and then bring a center plank hold in your plank round into your back zip through your thighs press your heels back reach your crown forward shoulders and wrists line up grip with your fingertips Breathing in, breathing out. Directing with that breath your energy. Then elbows tuck in, come all the way down and find your first cobra pose. Hover your hands, zip your toes down towards the mat as you zip through your thighs. Press your toes, let's say zip them. <laughs> And press your toes to the mat. Round in. And then press back, kneeling. Rotate those fingers back in. Elbows come out, tailbones up. Fingers and chest line up. Shift yourself forward and press down, press up. Press down, press up. Again, linking breath with movement. And directing that energy through creation, through connection. We evolve stronger and more flexibility and endurance, but then stamina all within the mind, the body, and the spirit. Last four, last three, last two, and your last one. Press it back, kickstand the left leg out, roll up and left side, extend that right leg, reach that arm up, kneeling side plank. And then lift up gate pose. Reaching those arms out. Take the right arm through out towards the left side. Reach the left arm up and over and little pulses. Little pulses, little pulses. Breathe in, breathe out again. Little crunches that side body to so press in, moving that energy that can get stuck in the sides. Press in, press in. And four and three. And two, your last one, press and hold it, reach it, and then come kneeling, lengthen, kick that leg up, flex into that heel, and kick it to the front, kick it to the back. Keep that a leg aligned with your hip as you move forward and back. Kneeling on that left leg as knee and hip lined up, left hand and shoulder lined up. You got eight more, seven more. Six more, five more, four more, three more, two more, and your last one. And then pull it back, keep that knee lifted, take that hand back to your back ankle. As you lift that knee, open that chest, gazes up. Right hand around right ankle, keep that knee aligned with your hip. Again, if you can't grab your ankle, it's okay. Use your visualization. Reach back, feel that dynamic lengthening. Keeping knee up and do your personal best. Honor where you're able to work today.
and then kickstand that leg out, reach that arm up, and then flip yourself up into gate, reach over side gate, bring those arms right where they were, that right arm crosses the body, left arm comes up, and you press in, reach, press in, reach, one more time, ring out, for four, for three, for two, press in, hold, and then come back, side plank. This time you can stay kneeling or you can extend that bottom leg for fully extended plank. Lifting those hips a little higher, making sure shoulder and wrist are lined up, gaze is up, spine is long, balance, breathe. For four, for three, for two, then bring it center. Really press in, grip in with those fingers, long spine, heels back, crown forward. Booties out of the air, tuck and squeeze, breathe in, don't sway into your back. Move round into the upper portion of your back as you breathe. Deep, long, rhythmic breaths. And then as you shift your weight forward, slowly come down. Shoulder blades down and back, hover those hands. Zip through those thighs, toes to your mat. And then press in and upward facing dog. And little tricep dips. Tricep dips, press those triceps back. Elbows tuck in along your side body. Elbows don't go out. Make sure they track inward and backward. In four, in three, and two, last one, press, lift, hold. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. And then lift those hips downward, facing dog. First down dog, pedal your heels, shake your head. Tailbone is high to the sky. As you elongate those arms, grip with those fingers. Arms are long, ears and elbows side by side, tailbone high to the sky. As you press in, lengthen, maybe lifting those heel squats, those thighs for a minute. That's where you are in your down dog. You can stay there. Be able to find a little more length in those legs, pressing the heels closer towards the mat. That's an option as well. Just do your best at finding that place that works for you in your down dog. Sipping toes towards your knees, knees can lift towards your hips, hips towards your ribs. Navel in. And this flow, bring it out to plank. So lift those hips back, downward dog. Then out to plank. Then lift, downward dog. Then out to plank. Then downward dog. Then out to plank. Then downward dog. Plank pose, down dog. Plank pose, down dog. Plank pose, down dog. Last one, plank pose, down dog. Come out, hold plank. Now, if you need to modify, you can always come to your knees. We're gonna Superman, so opposite arm, opposite leg's gonna lift. You're gonna reach and lift, switch, reach and lift, switch. Reach and lift, reach and lift, reach and lift. And again, if you need your knees, reach and lift, reach and lift. Building that length of the spine, so you're fully extended or kneeling. Again, keeping those shoulders and wrists lined up. So you come down onto your mat. If you're fully extended, do not stick your booty in the air. Just a couple more each side. Reach, lengthen, spinal stability. Four more. Three more, two more, and your last one, and lift those hips downward dog. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out, and walk your hands to the back. Wind your feet off the edges of your mat, so wider than normal. Squat nice and deep and pop that body up and down. Get moving that energy at the base of our spine. 
releasing, opening up through those hip sockets. Checking in with our breath, making sure you're restricted. Do you feel tired or do you feel awake and alive? Using that breath work to energize us. Keep pulsing in those thighs. And four, and three, and two. Sit deep, hold, lift your chest, hands, prayer. Nice, deep in that sumo squat, toes are forward, booty is back, make sure your knees do not go over your toes. Your knees and your glutes line up in that squat, just getting the deep as best as you can. You don't have to get all the way down there, it's okay for up here, it's okay, listen to your body. I am just here to facilitate, to challenge you to get as deep as you can in your practice, because we're like butterflies, we're metamorphosing into transformation. And we do that by coming out of our comfort zone, pushing ourselves through our practice to go deeper than we think we can. Because it is as much mental and emotional as it is physical. In four, in three, and two. Last one, big inhale, lift arms up, lengthen. And then come right back down, touch the floor. Lift tall. So again, that energy is connecting through the earth, radiates out into the heavens charging that energy in a state of allowing feeling invigorated through each breath you take notice your breath changes Honor that breath pattern that works for you in this space. Eight more, seven more, six more, five more, four more, three more, two more. Your last one. Lift up nice and tall, find that length, hands to heart center, come right back down and holding that squat. Nice and wide, extra wide. Lift your toes, then spread them and place them right back down. Really engaging your feet at the balls of your feet and your heels of your feet for a firm foundation. Join navel in, don't push your tummy out. Engaging those bodies at the pelvic floor, the navel, join chin in, crown up. Breathe in, breathe out. Now reach those arms, lengthen. And then lift your bottom, lengthen the spine, tabletop. Dynamically pushing your tailbone back as you reach your crown, the fingertips forward. Make a big ah sound as you take a big inhale and a big exhale. <sighs> Place your hands down, lift the tailbone, straighten the legs, gaze through your legs. Hands to your ankles. Press into the balls of your feet as you lift your tailbone up a little higher. And then place your hands down, heel to those feet back together. Lift up halfway, lengthen, navel into spine, exhale, fold. Walk it out, plank pose. Shift your weight forward, elbows tuck in, chaturanga hover, hold. Check in, make sure everything's where it belongs with a long spine. Gaze over the top edge of your mat, shoulders and elbows line up, tight into the body. Flip those toes to upward facing dog. Press in, round into the back. Grip your mat with your hands, elongate your spine, either on your knees or off your knees for an increased intensity. Our upward dog is a beautiful back bend as well as an arm strengthener. Hold in there. And then add that push to back if you choose, downward, facing dog. Lift your heels, squat into your thighs, gaze between your hands. This is going to be our first step or hop to the top of our mat. Just pause into your thighs. We grip with those fingers. Your hands are for a moment going to come to your feet as you make that transition. So as you shift your weight forward, we're going to three times heel kick our bum. So squat deep, then heel kick your bum press in. 
Just heel kick bum, press in. You can alternate your legs and press in. On your last one, take a big step or hop to the top. Take a big inhale, lift, and find your chair. Sit tall in your chair, hands of prayer. Feet side by side, tailbone presses back without jetting your knees over your toes, roll that pelvis under. Again, engaging those bondas, dropping another inch deeper. And let's engage scapulatory depression as we squeeze into our back, pressing elbows down and back. Hold and breathe, drawing chin in, crown up. Smile. That smile is infused with the energy. It shifts our attitude, our mood, our thought process. So we sit here, drop another inch, relinquishing what no longer serves us in this space. So we squeeze into those muscles, squeeze into every cell of our being, infusing every part of our body, every essence of love, with that healing energy of acceptance and forgiveness, saying I love you. I'm sorry, I forgive you, and thank you, being gracious for the strong body, the strong mind, and your strong spirit. And then go ahead, reach arms up nice and long, lengthen, take your left hand to your right wrist and exhale over that side body. Pressing that right hip out as your gaze goes up through your right armpit. And then left other side. Right hand to left wrist. Lengthen that side body, exhale over. Press that left hip out. Gaze up through your left armpit. Lengthen, deepen, breathe, and then lift. Taking fists into your back. Heel toe those feet apart. Press and soften in your knees. Shoulder blades down and back. Press those hips forward. Draw your shoulder blades down. Gaze goes back without pinching the back of your neck. And you can begin, if you choose, to walk your hands down the back of your thighs. Just an option. Then slowly bring yourself back up. Heel toe your feet back together. Lift onto your toes, back onto your heels, hands to heart. Taking a moment, press into that heart with love, infuse it with gratitude, feel it at that heart center. And let's take a big inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. We're gonna work the front and the back of our mat, so walk your hands back. Sit deep into your chair, hands are prayer. Take a big inhale, lift, find that chair. Lift it up, find your fold. Squat, walk it out. And then chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Lift those heels, squat into those thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Walk it back. Sit deep. Hands prayer. Lift. Find the chair. Lift. Find the fold. Walk it out. And chaturanga. Up dog. Push up. Down dog. Lift your heels. Squat in your thighs. Gaze between your hands. Take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale. Lift. Find your chair, lift, find your fold. Step it back, downward dog. Bring it out, chaturanga up dog. Push up, down dog. Walk your hands back, sit deep. Hands prayer, lift, find chair. Lift, find your fold. Walk it out, chaturanga up dog. Push up, down dog. Hold right here. 
Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna come three-legged dog. So take your right leg, kick it up. Stack your hip. Bend in that knee, drag that foot behind you, just let it dangle, and then trace a circle with your knee. Big circles with your knee. Two more this direction. And then reverse other direction. Last two. And then lift that leg, hold it. Kick that leg up, center your hip. Flex into that foot. And then just tap the floor and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift. As you flex in that foot, center your hip towards the mat. Just tap that floor and lift it up. Then notice as you start to shorten that leg by pulling the femur up into your hip socket. You can get a little more length through, pushing it forward over that toe. If you want to shift that way, you can pull that foot up towards your wrist and kick it up. Pull it up towards your wrist, kick it up. Then you pull it out to the side off the edge of your mat. Then kick it up. Pull it off to the side. So you press into your hands, then kick it up. Out to the side, press in those hands, grip, kick it up. And then out to the side, press. Navel in, kick it up. Last one, out, press, and kick it up. Just doing your personal best. Release it down, drop to your knees, press back, child's pose. Take a minute, honor yourself in this space. Notice the energy and how it feels in the body. Observe without judgment, with love and compassion. And then bring it right back out. Curl those toes under, lift the tailbone, hide the sky, downward dog. Take the left leg, kick it up, stack your hip, bend in that knee, let that foot dangle behind you. That knee elevates, just make big circles in one direction. About two more in this direction. Your last one, hold it, and then switch other direction. And last two, last one. Then kick that leg, center your hip, flex into that heel, press into those arms, tap the floor and lift. Just tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. Now begin to shorten that extremity. So you pull that femur up into that hip socket. Get a little more length as you pull that leg through. If you're in front of that right foot, then you may begin to rock yourself forward, pull that leg towards your wrist on the inside, and then kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, really grip with those hands, and then maybe take it out to the side. It's out to the side of that right wrist. Keep that leg straight. Just step up, press it, arms are long, shoulders and wrists line up, kick it high, lunge it, deepen, kick it, Step it, lift it, and your last one. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, this is your personal journey. And then release it, draw to your knees, and find child's pose. Again, listening to the body, honoring where it's at, feeling the space and the spaciousness in the body with the breath. So we're moving and grooving on our mats, between the expansion and the contraction, our inhale and our exhale of our movement through our joints and our muscles, our ligaments and our tendons, through our cells. Feel the expansion and the contraction working in harmony together as we link breath with our movement. So energy is charged and renewed. Lengthen those arms, roll out, curl those toes, lift in your hips, now we're facing dog. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Hold in your chair. Take your right foot, 
lift it up, place it onto your left knee and drop this knee down on the right side. Do you allow that hip to open up a little bit? Hands of prayer. Hold it, breathe through it. Now keep that foot right where it's at, lift up, pull that knee up, lengthen that leg out, reach those arms up, balance, hold. Then pull that knee, kick it back behind you for warrior one. The Aravindrasana one. Press in, deepen down, so left toes are forward. Back right heel slightly turned out. Left toes around, imagine that clock. Again, 12 o'clock, one third with your back, big toes. Hips rotate forward, shoulders down and back, deepen in. Vertical, pull back into Archer. So lift the front toes, lengthen that front leg, thumbs on the inside. That back right knee bends, toes turn out to the back side. Sit nice and deep in that Archer pose. Back elbow up, nice and strong in this Archer pose. And then pivot back to warrior one. And we're gonna flow from our warrior one into our archer. Warrior one into archer. And each time you can feel yourself getting a little deeper. Warrior one, Lin linking breath with movement. One breath, one movement. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Find that fluidity as that energy moves, feeling that current moving in and out. Virabhadrasana one, into archer pose, that strong empowered stature, feeling confident and courageous, fearless and hopeful. Several more. And then one more time. And then wherever you are, come back to your warrior one and hold it. Bring hands to heart center, pull that back right knee up. Bring that foot right onto your knee and come right back and have a seat. Now you can stay here. If you wanna work into an arm balance, you can come into flying pigeon bringing his arms out in front, hands come down, this foot hooks around that forearm on the right side. Oh, I feel my coconut oil. <laughs> Gazes forward and you lift into that back toe lifts up. Now, if you wanna fly, you can extend that back leg. And it's all about equal distribution of weight and balance and energy movement. So I can't explain enough the bandhas. There's three main energetic points at the pelvic floor, the navel, and your chin drawing in, building that energy up. And again, forearms come down and over. If you just wanna hold here in your chair standing, hold right here in half pigeon chair. But if you wanna come flying, forearms are down, hands become your feet, your right foot's gonna grip your left arm. But wherever you are, bring it up and shake it out. We got that on the other side. Woo, do a little dance. Move the energy. Dance is the best way to get that energy moving. Anytime you feel in a funk, just break out a song in your head. My kids think I am literally cuckoo crazy. So I'll just be singing a song and dancing. And they'll just be looking at me like I got three heads. <laughs> All right. Lift the left leg. Take that foot, place it on to your right knee. Push that booty back, sit deep. Flexing that foot, hands prayer. Hold and breathe. And then sit a little deeper, there you go. And then lift that knee. Extend that leg. Flexing that foot, tighten, breathe in through it. And then bring that leg right back behind you. Place it down for warrior one. Press into that warrior one. You can check in with yourself in this warrior one. 
12 o'clock, right toes, back left foot slightly turns out, ankles line up, 1130 on this side, arms high, shoulders down. Bond is active, breath is flowing, feeling that prana, that energy, that current that flows in and out. Woo. Thinking good thoughts, feeling happy. Who is that seat of the soul? This encasement is breaking free that we can place around them from our experiences of all from childbirth to everything we've ever gone through. Any little stories we've created, we build little places around our soul for safety nets. We want to break those barriers down that don't serve us. Let's go ahead and press back into warrior. I'm sorry, archer. Arms extend, thumbs inside. Pull that left elbow back. Be actively engaged in your posture. Maintain integrity. Being in that restoration of energetic integrity. Sitting a little deeper. So body feels charged, restored and renewed. It's building that strength and stability and flexibility. And as we physically move our essence, we internally allow ourselves to work inside. So let's go ahead and lunge it back, warrior one. And then flow back, archer pose. Warrior one to archer pose. Veer Bandrasana one into archer. And each time feel yourself getting a little deeper. This is your flow. One breath, one movement. Inhales you lengthen, exhales you deepen. Several more. Keep moving, keep grooving. Feeling that zenful state of awakening. As we're empowered through our movement, that energetic charge is making that internal shift. One more time. And then hold on your warrior one. Ooh, I'm sliding all over the place. <laughs> and then come back to Archer. Hold it. And then right back to your warrior one, sit nice and deep in it, and then pull your left knee up. Place that foot onto your right knee, and come having that seat. So you can stay right here. If you want to work on arm balance and flying pigeon, you can. You just work those arms down, lengthen, pull those forms over that chin, grip your arm with those feet, those toes are going to grip around that forearm. You're going to balance, gaze goes forward. Equal distribution of the weight, lift that back toe if you can. And then if you're able to fly, you can fly. You know this side saying, don't go. Yeah. <laughs> help me, help me. And if you need to just stay in your chair holding, you can just honor where you're at. You're experimenting out of your comfort zone, play, be safe, maintain the integrity. And then wherever we are together, let's go ahead and lift up, shake the legs and move about. Dance it, dance it. Woo. Wish I could sing. You don't want me to sing, but I'm gonna dance. <laughs> All right, top of our mats. Woo. Lift those heels back on those toes. Bring your hands back to heart center. <sighs> then notice, just feel your body, feel your whole essence, feel charged. Again, as I said, we have energy that connects into the earth, out into the atmosphere. As we have that awareness, this, our aura goes out around about 18 inches out, arms length. This is our happy little bubble. We can energetically charge. It's like Teflon. Don't let anybody come in and burst that bubble, especially nowadays. So go ahead and wiggle those feet apart. We're gonna make big circles with those arms. Big circles, big circles. 
So it's almost like a windmill. You can feel yourself fanning yourself in those big circles. And I want you to make some quick, rapid breaths. It's in through our nose and out through our nose. Four, three, two, and one. Hands come heart center. Heel toe those feet back together. Lift onto your toes, back onto your heels. Take a big inhale, lift. Put energetically charged, exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Right leg kicks, stack your hip. Pull it through for crescent lunge. Lift high on those back toes. Really press in. Nice and deep right here. Hold and breathe. Press that back leg nice and long. Low in that deep crescent lunge. Shoulders down. And then we're going to lift that back leg. Step it up. Rotate right here. As if you're in pyramid pose with your legs. You're going to rotate. Reach those arms out. Take that right hand back to the left leg. Reach your arm up and overhead. And then bring it back center. Lift that back leg, press it right back to crescent lunge. Pressing those palms together, feel that energetic charge. Nice and deep. Then slide that back foot up. Step, rotate. Drop that hand back, lift that arm up. It's a very fluid. Bring those hands back to prayer overhead. Lift that back foot, step it back. Or you can slide it back if it's too much to lift that foot off the mat. Hold, lift. Place that foot down, check in, maintain the integrity, rotate, revolve, lengthen, deepen. That arm comes down, that arm comes up, really reach, lengthen, and then bring those hands to prayer. Lunge right back into it, and then pivot around, warrior one to the back. Nice and deep in that warrior one. And then place your hands down, take that back leg, kick it up, standing split. Forehead towards your knee. You can stay right here in that standing split or take a hand to an ankle. You can take both hands to your ankle. Honor what works for you and where you're at in your practice. Every practice can be a little different. As to how your body's responding to your posture, to your asanas. A lot has to do with not just our physical, but our mental and emotional state of being. And let's go ahead and release. Place hands down. Take that leg. Step it back nice and deep into this lunge. Nice and deep runner's lunge. Just press in. Make sure your knee does not go over your toes. As you're pressing in, you may walk your foot a little further forward as you press in, press in. Then your right hand is down, left leg is forward. Reach that arm high to the sky as you revolve. Opposite arm down as you revolve in. Press in, deepen, breathe through it. And then release it, take that foot, you're gonna press it up, pull that knee into the heart center, press it in. And just pull it up, pull it in, tap the floor, pull it in, tap the floor, pull it in. So that foot never stepped all the way back, it stayed up, that knee pulls into the heart and taps down to the neck. Pull it in, tap it down, pull it in, tap it down, eight, seven, six, five, four, if you need your right knee, you can modify. And your last one, pull it in, then kick that leg high. Now pull it in heart center, plank pose, kick it up. Pull it in heart center, plank pose, kick it up. Pull it in heart center, plank pose, kick it up. Pull it in, kick it up. Three more, kick it up. Two more, kick it up. Last one, kick it up. And then chaturanga if you choose. Upward dog, just an option. And then push back, down dog. <clears throat> take the right leg kick it high bring it through come into your straddle move side to side find that lateral movement open up that space and then center hold it turn those toes forward 
Reach up halfway, lengthen, exhale, fold. Hands to ankles, gaze through your legs. And then hands come down, turn those toes out, squat deep, goddess pose, lift the torso. Sit in nice and deep. Little pulses. Hands to heart center. And then squat deep, you're gonna slide that foot in, step it out, and come to the other side. Step it out, pull it in, step it out, pull it in. Step it out, pull it in, step it out, pull it in. Squat deep, squat deep, squat deep, and squat deep. Again, lateral movement side to side. Again, energetically moving that energy. Find lotus fingers and mudra at your heart. So the palms come together, thumbs come together, pinkies come together, fingers flower out. What that heart. Feeling that flower within, bursting forth with joy, with health, and wholeness, with love, compassion, kindness, truth. Breathing in and breathing out because we're in grace and gratitude, humility, and respect. Notice that heart can be made of stone from our experiences in life. It's made new. Again, those encasements break free. Our truest essence is in the divine space of joy, feeling loved, having peace of mind, awakened into bliss. And your last one, bring it out, hold. Reach that flower up overhead, hold. Shine, bursting out, sitting deep, lift the heels. Do you feel your energy charging? Do you feel bursting out through? It's of all the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful essence. With pure hearts of joy. Bringing prayer hands to heart center. Sit a little deeper, sit, sit deep, lift tall, rotate around to the front pyramid pose. Lengthen. Check if you need to shorten your stature a bit. Check and make sure your ankles line up. Press the tailbone back, crown forward, left foot is forward. Reach those arm back, crown forward. If you're an airplane, begin to really reach for chest expansion. Reach those arms up, press those palms together. Drop your head down to the best of your ability towards your shin. Keeping both legs straight as possible. Imagine you're on a tightrope as you're balancing. Breathing, lengthening, deepening, releasing, letting go. As you press into the chest expansion, make sure your joints line up so palms come together. If you can't get there, let's try to imagine we're squeezing a beach ball. And then slowly release it, place those hands down, lunge deep into that leg, kick it high to the sky. Bring it out, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Woo, push up, hang in there, down dog. Lift those heels, squat into those thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. We got the other side, you're almost there. Fold, squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Left leg kicks, stack your hip. Woo! Breathe in, breathe out, and bring it through. Press and lunge. Lift that back heel. Press in, check in. Make sure those left legs, toes are forward, back heels up. Again, if you need that knee, you can always find it. Back leg is long. Sending your hips. Reach those arms. Up high, shoulders are down. 
and then shorten that stature, find that pyramid stature, but you rotate, revolve, bring that left hand back to the right thigh, thigh, reach that right arm up and over, gaze over that back, left shoulder. Breathe in, deep, rhythmic breaths. And then bring it back, step it back. Nice and deep, prayer hands overhead. Doing that process as we breathe. That flows through the mind of reasoning. And then step it back, reach it up. Just feel the fullness of the life force as we have that awareness as to how we direct our reasoning. Step it back, nice and deep. And then bring it back, reach it up. Rotate, check in, maintain the integrity. So through this energetic movement, we break away what no longer serves us. We feel free and boundless in the light of love and joy. Step it, move it, just flowing one breath, one movement. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Doing that current flow. Our breath allows us to get a little more flexibility, not just physically, but mentally. Just a couple more. Nice and deep into that crescent. Pyramid, revolve. Back to your crescent. Pyramid, revolve. Step it back. We got one more of each. And then step it, hold it, breathe right here into it, crescent lunge, hold. And then pivot around into warrior one. Nice and deep in that warrior one, press in, deepen in. And then bring your hands down. Press in nice and deep. Kick that back leg up, standing split. Forehead towards your knee. If you choose, you can take your right hand to your ankle and then your left. You can work on getting that back leg higher, your forehead closer to your knee. Wherever you're feeling that challenge today, breathe in, breathe out. Those legs may begin to shake and wobble, hang in there. And then slowly bring that back foot back nice and deep into that lunge and just press into it. Walk that foot a little further forward as you build that space. Deepen in, in that space of allowing and just being as we are here in our present moment awareness. Press that left hand in, rotate those shoulders, reach that right arm up. Breathe in, breathe out. And then bring that hand back down. You're just going to lift that foot, pull that knee into the heart center. And then tap that knee down and then pull it back up to the heart. Tap it down, pull it up. Tap it down, pull it up. Tap it down, pull it up. You can always modify that back left knee if needed. Just really pulling into that core. Lift. Gauging those bondas. Lift. In eight. In seven. In six. In five. In four. Three. Two. Last one. Kick it high. And then pull it in the heart center plank pose. Kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, <clears throat> pull it in, kick it up, 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 pull it in, and your last one, kick it up, and then chaturanga. If you choose, upward facing dog to down, we're facing dog. Woo! Take your left leg, kick it up. Bring it through, straddle. Walk it around, move side to side. Open it up. Get a little deeper as you move and you groove. And then hold it, lift up halfway. Then exhale, fold, gaze between your legs, hands to your ankles.
and then drop those hands down, turn those toes out, sit nice and deep, lift the torso, goddess pose. Little pulses, little pulses. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands at heart center in prayer. Again, finding that lotus mudra. Press in, filling that flower. Fill it, fill up. Overwhelming as it bursts out. So in order for us to be able to truly be of service to others, we have to first fill ourselves. And in this space, fill it overflowing. And that overflow, we can give selflessly. So go ahead and step side to side. Sit deep and step. Step deep and step. And as we sit deep and step side to side in that lateral movement, charging that energy in this fashion, fill that cup. Fill your flower with love, with tolerance, with perseverance and determination, with kindness and compassion, with grace and gratitude. Even when it's not easy, in that selfless state, we can overflow and give. There's so many out there that are in need. They don't have the capacity, maybe even to receive. But as we pour into them selflessly, they can begin to do the work to heal on themselves. But we first had to be that change within ourselves. Then we're able to go out and shine a little brighter in our own authentic way. Four more. Three more. Two more. And your last one. Bring it center, hold it, reach that arm up, press that flower overhead, feel it charged and infused for that radiance. All those colors of your energies moving up through the body, shooting out, brightening the world. As we are all individuals, we are all a part of a collective, as one human race, in the light of love. Drop another inch down, hold and breathe. Bring those hands, prayer at the heart, squat deep, lift up tall, pivot to the front, pyramid pose. Check in, make sure your stature is not too far apart. Measure on that tightrope. Right toes forward, left back toes slightly turned out. Lengthen your spine, press your tailbone back, crown forward, press those arms back. As we reach back, lengthen. Begin to lift those arms, draw that crown down. Clasp those hands for chest expansion as you reach up forehead towards your knees with both legs straight as possible. Again, it's your personal practice. Honor where your body's able to work. No judgment. Breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly release the hands, release the legs. Fingertips come in front, lunge nice and deep. Take that leg, kick it up and then bring it out, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Drop to your knees, find child's pose. Woo. Sit nice and deep. As you're in child's pose, lengthen his arms, pressing crown down, feeling safe in this space. As you're wrapped up in the space of your inner child, nestled in, feeling that self-love, that self-care, and just showing up on your mat today, you did that. You know, on the airplane, they say we have to don our mask first before we can help someone else. Our practice allows us to work on ourselves so then we can go out and be a light into the world.
So go ahead and lift up and out, lay all the way down. You're gonna take your right foot, bend it up, take your right hand to that foot. And I just want you to press, you're gonna press that foot out to the side. Out to the side and feel it in the hamstring. Pull those knees together. That foot's gonna track out to the side, but keep those knees together. Press in with that left hand, gaze back to that foot, press in. And then release, don't put too much pressure, it hurts your knee, then release. Right hand comes down, left hand comes back, press in, that foot just comes off to the side, try to keep those knees together, joints lined up. Just press in, some people can get that foot all the way to the ground, I cannot, just hang in there and breathe. And then release, now lift both feet, reach both hands back. If you're able to grab both of your ankles, grab both your ankles, flex into your heels, lift those knees and round into bow. Lift the torso. As you round into it, lift the thighs, lift the chest, press into the torso. I said lift the torso. <laughs> you gotta press into it. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Pull those knees in, track them in, lift round breathe again if you can't reach your ankles it's okay imagine if you're only pressing into one switch to the other side and hold for eight seven six five four three two and one release wide knees press it back and you're gonna knot the needle. So take your left arm through your right, drop your shoulder down, gaze through your legs, and through your armpit. Goodness gracious, I always get my body parts mixed up. <laughs> then take your right arm, wrap it around your back, grab your left thigh if you can. And then unravel, press into that right hand, rotate that left arm lengthens out, right arm drops through and down. Gaze through your left armpit. So you're sitting back in those thighs, tailbone's lifted. Then take that left hand and wrap it around your back. If you're able to grab that right thigh, you can. Just an option. And then slowly unravel. Press in, pull those knees in, cross at your ankles, and lengthen your legs. Sit nice and tall, hinging at our hips, rock side to side. Take a big inhale and exhale, fold. Reach your chest forward. Without collapsing yourself down, pull your chest forward, elongate, you press your tailbone back, pull your chest forward, and then release, and hands come back behind you, feet come flat, lift up, tabletop. Navel spine, shoulders and wrists line up, knees and ankles line up, really press in, round, lift, squeeze, and then release it down, lengthen your legs, reach out, touch your toes to the best of your ability, and then come right back, tabletop, lift and release, lengthen, touch your toes. You can fully extend plank, reverse plank if you want, or tabletop. So reverse plank or tabletop. You can move from both, going back and forth if you want, or just do tabletop or just do reverse plank. Just several more. And wherever you are, one more. And then if you're in tabletop, hold. And if you're in reverse plank, hold. And take your right leg, kick it up. If you're in tabletop, right leg kicks up. Lower and lift, lower and lift. If you're in reverse plank, lower and lift that leg.
in four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, pull that knee in, sit over, touch those toes, pull that right knee by your shoulder. Lengthen a little deeper, press that back, and then rotate that right arm around your back and hug your knee with the left arm. Feel that revolution, revolve. If you want to take your left elbow on the outside of your right knee, you can. If you want to try and bind, you can take your left hand through your leg and wrap your right hand around to the back and try to find your fingers or your wrist, wherever you're able to grab. Just an option, you want to take your gaze behind you over your back right shoulder. And then release it, lengthen those legs, sit tall, touch your toes, hang in there. Come back tabletop, lift, lengthen, reach it out. Fully extended plank, touch your toes or tabletop and touch your toes. Just a couple more. Breathe in, breathe out. And then next time you either hold in your reverse plank or your tabletop and lift the left leg and lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift for eight more, for seven more, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and your last one, lift it, pull the knee in, drop it down, sit tall, and reach down, grip for your toes. Pull that left knee right by your shoulder, elongate, take a big and inhale, and exhale, deepen. And then lift it up, pivot around, bring that left arm around you, right arm hugs your left knee, or you can take your right arm on the outside of your left leg. Again, if you want to bind, your right hand bends around through under your knee. Your left hand's going to come around. If you can't clasp it, just imagine you are. Again, use your imagery. If you can, clasp those fingers. Gaze is over your left shoulder to the back of you. The internal cleansing as we're ringing out right here. Using those last little droplets of breath to push out those impurities. And then unravel, release and come seated in your lotus. Great job. Sit tall. Breathe in, breathe out. Palms up, eyes are closed, hearts are full. You can drop your right ear to your right shoulder the way we did in the beginning of class. Releasing any tension out of our neck. Bring your chin to your chest. Bring your right ear to right shoulder. And just move side to side. And then lift tall and take those two or three fingers to the nap of your neck and again massage in there. So our practice allowed us to heal any uh, distorted beliefs that we hold on to. So we explored ourselves through our practice and energetically moved to release, feeling that newness, feeling light. Bringing hands to heart center. Breathing in. Breathing out. As so our energy has moved around, cultivating that space of awareness as we heal and restore and renew through our practice we energetically charge into a state of strength of endurance and flexibility within our whole mind our whole body and our whole spirit so we couple this all together in a space of having clarity and peace of mind 
we are enlightened with that essence as we feel surrounded in love knowing we are loved and that we are loved that spark of joy awakens in our soul as we are happy feeling healthy and radiant in the light of bliss so let's take three big inhales lifting arms all the way up bringing hands to heart center big inhale exhale inhale and exhale you go have a magnificent day shine your light bright making a positive impact into the world namaste Mom.